We are in Parrish, Florida today to take a look at a bank owned home. I wanna take a look at this one. It caught my attention because it comps out at about $500,000, really close to five. Asking price, $364,000. So there's a lot of room in this one. You guys, about 10 years ago, this is what I did. I'd wake up in the first hour of, of every morning, I'd look for the best deals on the market. Then from there, I'd spend the next hour or two taking a look at the homes. I'd find homes like this, the numbers worked. I knew, I knew numerically it would work if there weren't too many problems, but you're never gonna find a house like this that has this much equity if there's not problems. So in this video, we're gonna go through, we're gonna try to discover exactly what's wrong with this home. Excuse me, there's a bug. Um, every home that I ever purchased, back in the days, this is what I did during the, uh, the downturn, during the Great Recession, was I flipped homes. I've always been a realtor, I've always helped people for the last 19 years, I've helped, I'd help home buyers and home sellers. Um, when it was really slow during the Great Recession, this is what I did, aside from helping people. When it was really slow on the, uh, the real estate sales side, then I'd, I'd go out and I'd look at homes, I'd buy them and I'd flip them. This, flip them. This one looks like it has strong potential. So stay with me, we're gonna walk through it and we're gonna find out why, why this one is uh, priced at where it's at. There's, there's a reason, there has to be a reason. We'll go through and kind of dissect that and maybe, maybe this is a, a good potential for, for a flip, but uh, we won't know until we get inside and check it out. This really is a beautiful neighborhood. It's called uh, Chelsea Oaks. It's a gated community. And as you can tell, it's a very well taken care of neighborhood. This cul-de-sac's beautiful. Um, even this house is beautiful. I love the elevation. I love the look of the home. Um, how do we know? How do we know it's worth about $500,000? The house directly behind it is a swimming pool home just like this one. And it sold, let me find that. It sold for $465,000. And that home directly behind us is 200 square feet smaller than this. So that sold about a month ago, a month and a half ago, $465,000 and it's 200 square feet smaller. We'll start with the pool. So right off the bat, the water is horrendous. The screen needs to be replaced. Yeah, there's gonna have to be some maintenance in here, I think, before anybody buys this. Obviously, they're gonna have the pool inspected. Make sure they don't have to put too much into it. I see the potential. This can be a beautiful, beautiful backyard. Absolutely beautiful. Nice tile. I think a lot of people are gonna wanna replace the tile if you're gonna do this as a flip. You're gonna try to bring it to uh, the way people want to view homes today, it's probably going to start with the tile. You're going to have to replace that. Tray ceilings, it's a beautiful house. The bones of this house are beautiful. Nice dining space. Kind of an outdated floor plan. The ceilings are about nine feet tall. Um, just outdated in that you've got this wall between the living space. Everybody wants that open floor plan. Nice cabinets, you're not going to have to replace those. You've got the Eden dining room. Um, the big problems that I'm seeing right now, you're gonna have to replace the floors. <laughs> I love, the backyard's gonna be great when somebody remodels this. Uh, who knows what you're gonna have to do with that swimming pool. This will not finance VA or FHA. You can see certain things just, just coming through. Um, the house has to be livable, being that there's no cooktop. This is going cash or conventional. Here's where it gets ugly. I don't know if you can see that, it needs carpet. Probably just a good cleaning, but there's tape up there, so you, you may very well have to replace that window. You've got holes down in the ground at the vent. Again, good bones, uh, it's just ugly. It needs new countertops. But it's not too far. Another reason it won't finance VA or, F VA or FHA, it has to have floors, it has to have carpet, some kind of flooring. Um, I don't know if you noticed in that other bedroom, it was also missing the closet doors. Somebody took all the closet doors. So you're gonna have to replace some of those. Not a big deal, not a huge expense. Again, paint throughout, new, new trim in some locations. New doors here at the pantry. It's absolutely filthy. This is what you get when you get a flip. So you've got to look and inspect every single section of a house before you flip it, because you're these are these are not bad cabinets, um, and that's that's fixable. But you've got to inspect every little spot and have a home inspector come in. 
and take a look. There's no light in here. I think laundry looks okay. What's going on in the garage? So somebody's taking this home somewhat serious. They've already gotten up. Let's take a look and make sure there's no leaks up in the, uh, the attic. Hot water heater's probably old, needs to be replaced. And let's work our way around this way. We'll take a look at the uh, primary bedroom. This is 1830 square feet, 1,830 square feet. When it was built, you can tell when it was originally built, it was a beautiful home. It's got so much potential. This is gonna be a great house again, someday. Somebody's gonna to have to rebuild quite a bit of it though to make it beautiful. Yeah, it's just a mess, which is common for bank owned homes. People leave when they're foreclosed on, bitter, they're not happy, life's not good. Um, Nobody wants to be foreclosed on it. It creates for a lot of stress. So when homeowners vacate, when they give the keys back to the bank, they're typically not happy. We are seeing foreclosures go up. There's not a whole lot of bank owned homes go um, on the market though. And in large part, people have so much equity they can sell. So there's a lot of foreclosures right now. People are going into foreclosure, but most homes aren't being foreclosed on. Hey, thanks for watching. This home does have potential. If you have any interest in it, uh, see my contact information down below. Thank you so much for watching. My final thoughts, my final thoughts on this home. Uh, if you were wondering, if you're curious, I'm not gonna buy it. I did come in here with the curiosity. Um, just too many different things to touch. I, I just don't wanna get my hands this dirty right now and have to deal really not even that bad with, with a number of trades. Um, if the economy was a little bit better, if we were more certain as to where the economy was going, maybe. Um, but at this moment, it's gotta be a sure thing. And I don't know if this house is, although it's not bad, but yeah, you've got, you've got items like this. Um, yeah, I'm good. Not right now, but again, thank you so much for watching.